prepare yourself for an endless tragedy of extraordinary extent. Below, on the purple Goliath, CB changed our framework's fringe. It's passing on spooky messages spread throughout the universe by the James Webb Space Telescope. Something has been determined by cosmologists, essentially alarming about this significant and massive body. As Brian Cox, an astrophysicist, offers a grave admission, the question is, can we say we are getting close to seeing an unfortunate, enormous blast impact that could forever alter the night sky? To the extent to which we can participate, we should investigate the amazing tapestry depicting the universe's stars, it's considered to live, and die in beautiful plans. A major star has actually captured the creative mind and tension of both the general public and cosmologists. This renowned star is a red giant, massive in size and of well-organized age, prominent throughout the impressive body. Its distinctive bronze hue and complexity have been a problem for a long time. Recent sources of interest and advancements have bolstered Javi in this great beast as we learn the possibility of an upcoming glorious occasion in the current example of this star. No matter what these actions may suggest, we might be about to experience a never-ending display of implausible scale. A heavenly scale greater than our sun. Behemoth's entire size is almost beyond human comprehension and imagination. A star of such magnitude that, if moved to the surface of our sun, it would extend beyond Mars' orbit, dominating Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its sublime embrace. This isn't simply a remarkable display. It reveals its true qualities while also addressing its stage as a red giant throughout its radiant life cycle, supersized and in the waning stages of its existence. This stage is represented by growth and diminishing after a lifetime spent, combining hydrogen and helium at its heart. However, what about this megastar's age? The star is thought to be between 8.5 and 8.8 .8 million years old in human terms. But concerning its past, it is in the red giant stage during stellar lifetimes. This stage is the result of millions of cycles and shifts of stellar evolution that have changed it from a bright blue star to a huge red one. This is the current instance of stars, like this one. From a tale of growth brought about by the constant forces of gravity and nuclear fusion, its somewhat ruddy color is another sign of its ongoing development. Its red hue is a result of a lower surface temperature than the sun's, which is approximately 5,500 K, while the cooler surface of this star has temperatures of approximately 3,500 K. The star turns red when its temperature drops, but this tone is more than just a visual feature. It provides information regarding the state of the star and the cycles occurring within, which contribute to the star's variable personality. Works from ancient China and Rome suggested that it became yellow around a millennium ago, a change first described by Arabic astronomers in the 9th century. It changes color from red to human history more than just a part of the cosmological annals, but a hint at the star's significant variability. Another attractive quality is the star's brightness, a semi-regular variable star whose light varies on a regular basis. Its variability is a radiant cosmic dance that has fascinated sky watchers and stargazers. Typically, the star goes through a cycle of multiple days and a longer cycle that lasts approximately five years. These cycles were first recorded in 1836 by Sir John Herschel and it's possible that even prior local oral traditions noted them. This star's mystery extends beyond its fluctuating brightness. With its unpredictability in contrast to many stars that follow established patterns, it occasionally breaks from its rhythm, displaying changes in brightness and dimming unpredictability and obscurity in the processes that take place within its structure. The most recent revelations have encapsulated the attention of astronomers and cosmologists worldwide with a terrifying and intriguing change in appearance, an event well known as the Great Dimming. This took place in late 2019 when one of the red supergiants, one of the most prominent stars in the night sky, began inexplicably to dim.
The dimming was so severe that it began to lose its luster at a significant rate, falling to its lowest. Point in February 2020, even in areas with minimal pollution, the star became significantly less bright, a change that even amateur observers could see. But there is one problem in our effort to comprehend. The events of this star at the exact moment we observe it, we are not observing it in its current form but as it was in the past because of the time it takes for light to reach us. In the case of this star, around 725 light years away, the light we see today was emitted nearly seven centuries ago. This delay makes it hard to predict and describe. The sudden shifts in a star's behavior as we primarily observe it in its past. The great dimming event served as an example of the inherent problems with astronomical observations and the limitations of our capabilities. Perception in the face of vast cosmic scales and their odds at time. This was clearly observed by Andrea Dupree, director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian. Together with her team, they used Hubble to investigate the star as part of a three-year investigation into the variations in its outer atmosphere. Based on these observations, an extraordinary comprehension of the dynamics of a variable star, like this one was achieved, it expands and contracts frequently, resulting in changes in brightness. Hubble's sensitivity to light made it possible for researchers to investigate the preceding layers of the heated surface of the star, primarily through the star's erratic convection cells. Additional Hubble analysis of spectra taken at specific. Intervals throughout 2019 and 2020 made it clear that material from the star's exterior, especially the spectra, that concentrated on magnesium lines typical of stellar environments, demonstrated objects moving at speeds of approximately 200,000 mph from the heavens into its atmosphere from the surface. This hot, dense substance eventually spread a great distance from the star and caused the star's brightness to reduce by forming a cloud. Dupree and her team estimated that twice as much material as is typical was lost from the southern hemisphere of the star during the outburst's three months. This huge loss had a significant impact, particularly because, like all stars, this one constantly loses mass, but at a much higher rate than our sun. This massive ejection and subsequent dimming prompts. Debate about whether this event could signal the beginning of a large explosion. Because of the star's proximity, approximately 725 light years from Earth, the intrigue increases. An explosion would be observable from Earth and offer a unique chance to observe a cosmic event in person. But this has not yet been clarified. Exactly what does this event mean for the star's future? Is it an indication of a coming supernova or merely an odd incident in the star's long and intricate life? Several explanations have been proposed for this shocking shift. One theory suggests it's a phase in the process of a supernova, a hypothesis that gains some traction due to the widespread conviction that the star is approaching the end of its life. Another important theory includes dust, possibly directly from the star, as it is thought to shed substance like other red supergiants. This material may result in a dense cloud of dust, enough to prevent the starlight from reaching our perspective. A third explanation considers changes in the star's visible outer layer, the photosphere, which may influence its apparent brightness. Further analysis using different methods of observation helped solve this enigma. Spectroscopy tests revealed a decrease in the actual temperature of the star implying that the dimming may be caused by a tiny spot on the surface of the star. These observations supported the theory that the temperature of the star dropped by approximately 170 Kelvin at the time of the dimming, which reveals significant alterations. Last but not least, the key to recognizing this. A cosmic occurrence originating from Hubble's observations revealed that the dimming of the star was probably brought on by a huge ejection of a hot substance into space. This substance formed a dust cloud that partially obscured a significant portion of the star's surface, limiting the amount of light that can reach us. It was claimed that the dust cloud originated from plasma that was especially hot. On its way out of a large convection cell, the path through the star's surface, its warm interior, 
and cooler exterior layers became dust as it cooled, forming grains that created a cloud preventing light from about one quarter of the star. UV radiation from Hubble's surface. Beginning with spectroscopic observations in January 2019, played a significant role in determining the order of events prior to these stars becoming dim. Dents were evident from observations, moving, heated. Matter through the star's atmosphere in the weeks and months preceding the loss of light in December. A number of ground-based telescopes in 2019 additionally observed the stars fading, particularly bright in its southern region. This material, initially greater than the typical emissions of the star, eventually led to the creation of a dreadful shadow as it moved outward and cooled. The hypothesis was that this material fell, and the shadow, as a result, caused the star's sudden reduction in brightness. Indeed, the ejection is remarkable putting the spotlight on a significant event. About 100 billion times the normal amount of mass was ejected by the star. This mass, typical of a stellar outburst, was noted multiple times. The ejection equivalent to the moon's mass was an important event for the star and our interpretation. Despite stellar mechanics, how could such a significant material ejection result in a supernova? Theories about supernova are crucial, as suggested by current knowledge that red supergiants, like this star, lose mass at a fairly steady rate prior to the sudden end of their lives, unable to withstand the scale of this ejection. This belief is complicated, implying a more volatile and possibly unpredictable stage of death for these stars. It may indicate that the star is near the supernova's edge exposing a potential danger to its cosmic closeness and the timing of such an event. The most recent mass ejection changed the subject, indicating it is more likely than before to end. Now, theories deal with the ramifications of such massive mass loss and its impact on the star's future and stability. Alas, as the cosmic community closely follows the star, our attention is drawn once more to a significant event, a supernova with the designation SN 2023 ISF occurred in the galaxy commonly known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, approximately 21 million light years away. Observed as of May 2023, SN 2023 ISF serves as an illustration of the dynamic universe's ever changing nature, where stars live their lives in an amazing process of creation and destruction. As we continue to unravel the universe's mysteries, this star remains an important source of discovery, offering a window into how stars work and the forces that shape the future of our cosmic landscape. As we continue to investigate the latest happenings and characteristics of this gigantic red star, we must take into account potential future scenarios. The massive ejection of the star's material and subsequent dimming have provided useful information that could alter our perception of the final stages of stellar evolution. One of the most intriguing possibilities is that this star is close to st the end of its lifespan, culminating in a stunning supernova. A supernova is a natural occurrence in the sky during the final stages of a massive star's evolution. Its final performance, an explosion like this would shine brighter than an entire galaxy for a short time releasing great amounts of energy, and enhancing the interstellar medium with many elements. The observed mass ejection could be a precursor to this devastating event in the development of a huge star. The supernova stage occurs after nuclear fuel is exhausted in its core, causing it to collapse under its own weight. If the star is large enough, this collapse sets off a supernova explosion enriching the surrounding space with material that fosters the formation of new stars and planets, the observed dynamics and instability irregularities in the star's behavior, such as the significant dimming, indicate turbulence. This turbulence can be attributed to the intricate processes taking place in the star's interior and outer layers. As the core of the star nears death, it becomes more unstable, resulting in the ejection of convective currents and substance, these convective currents, driven by the intense fusion reactions occurring in the core, arise when the core's hydrogen fuel is depleted. 
the star begins to fuse heavier substances around the core and shells, causing turbulent convection. Currents could lead to the ejection of material, which in turn forms dust clouds that obscure the star, causing the apparent dimming. The ongoing significance of astronomy findings from this red supergiant. Study holds significant importance for astronomy. By observing this star's transformations, astronomers can learn much about the final stages of stellar evolution and the steps leading to a supernova. Understanding these processes is essential for creating accurate stellar models, forecasting the life cycles and behavior of other massive stars in the universe. Modern observational techniques have been crucial in unraveling the mysteries of this star. The James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope provided high-resolution data, enabling astronomers to observe the star's surface, atmosphere, temperature, and material ejection in a new way. Ground-based telescopes have added to these observations by providing a wider perspective on the star's variability over time. The information gathered from these red, supergiant observations is already impacting stellar models. Traditional red supergiant models and their life cycles are being re-evaluated in light of new discoveries. The sudden mass ejection and dimming of the star suggests that these stars might undergo more violent and erratic shifts than previously believed. With a larger impact on the likely supernova, this star also has wider repercussions for our understanding of the universe. Supernova play an important role in the cosmic cycle of matter, generating and dispersing heavier elements than iron, which are necessary for the creation of planets. And life by studying this star, we gain more respect for the interconnectedness of our universe's shaping processes. The red supergiant's final act remains at the study's core, engaging astronomers and the general public alike. It's most recent. Behavior has offered a wealth of challenging information, testing existing ideas and opening new possibilities. Whether or not this star will end its existence in a sporadic supernova remains to be seen, but its narrative is far from over. As we continue to look to future developments and observations, more will undoubtedly be revealed by technology about this mysterious star and its place in the universe. For the time being, we can only watch and wait, hoping to witness one of the most powerful and dramatic events in the universe, a star's death and the beginning of a new era for our comprehension of the cosmos.